Hey everyone, welcome to your sixth intermediate JS tutorials in which we're gonna take a look at constructor, what constructor is in your prototypal inheritance chain and uh, a difference between prototype and underscore underscore proto as well, which I missed in the last video. So let's just go ahead and create an object again and uh, let's just console log it, or rather than an object, let's just create a function because that way we can understand the prototypal chain model right again same function we can just get the name and we can just say this dot name is <coughs> name we can say const object is new pizza like that there we go <coughs> so now what we have as you can see inside our object we have got a proto underscore underscore proto and then we have something known as constructor Surprisingly, constructor refers. Constructor also has a prototype which refers to itself. You see, it's 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 an infinite. You can say I can go on and on, but you see what the pattern is. It's cyclic. So, two things. First of all, we have something called as constructor in this object, and second of all, why the heck is the prototype and underscore underscore proto here? So you see that. What you can remember basically is proto is available is available for lookup of your prototypal chain right so basically when you, whenever you are doing like object dot underscore underscore proto dot underscore underscore proto you're basically going deep into the prototypal chain just like you would you know access let's say access super methods of your parents inside object oriented way dot prototype on the other hand dot prototype on the other hand is basically used to construct this particular underscore underscore proto chain right so when you do pizza dot prototype dot something what you're doing is basically adding methods to this this particular underscore underscore proto chain so this prototype is actually available to functions to something basically which you can add to your prototypal chain. In this case, it's function and object, right? So prototype is available for this pizza function because you know you can hook into you know some method and uh, you know it could be a number also. So you see, while creating this proto chain, JavaScript would take a look at what its prototype holds, right? and uh, for this constructor you can see that uh, right now this constructor has a proto which has a constructor which has a proto which basically links back to itself and it also has a prototype right because obviously it would have because that's how we created it right you see the pattern here constructor what it does is basically it refers to the same thing which on which you are creating these objects and stuff so we need constructor sometimes um, when you're trying to implement let's say a class-based inheritance model in javascript now because of how class keyword works now in javascript you would not really need to manually mess around with the constructor inside your prototypal chain so you do not really need to pizza.prototype.constructor is something like pizza anymore you would not need to do this but i'm just gonna take a look at that as well in the video in which we discuss about classes and stuff right so yeah i think that's all for this video i hope you're clear with constructor it's just a cyclic reference to itself right and proto underscore prototype as well proto is available to everyone prototype is available to things which you can actually integrate into the prototypal chain that is our functions and uh, yeah pretty much so that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching